Okay, let's get my camera started. All right, we are at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden. Welcome to the HD version of Inset Doers Domain's Facebook live stream. We're in Brooklyn Botanic Garden, like I said, because last time I did live stream in Philadelphia with my old phone, and now today, I got a new phone. I got a new phone weeks ago because this is a Samsung J3 Achieve. I mean, it's a jet trap. That's Okay, I have to make sure this is volumes up because I tested it yesterday. So I decided to post it on my fan page instead of the event page because I don't have enough engagement. But right now I'm kind of lost. I can't find the cherry Espelande. Espelande, yeah, it's pronounced Espelon, of course. But I kind of remember where I'm going, though. But make sure I don't lose this program. This program is very important. It's very important to have the program at all times. And today is the only day I'll be going. Because tomorrow we're heading to White Plains Cherry Blossom Festival. And by the way, I'm using mobile data, not Wi-Fi. Okay? So I have limited mobile data, so my mobile data will be recharged in the first week of May. So let's just hope the mobile data does not wipe out, okay? I only got two gigabytes of mobile data, so if in, in case I want to increase more mobile data, then I should just go to the Virgin Mobile store. I could just top off the mobile data, right? In order to keep the service active. And again, oh, I dropped the program. I needed it. All right, let's just put it in the bag this time so I won't lose it again. Okay. <sighs> so we gotta keep walking. Yeah, crystal clear, crystal clear, crystal clear video, right? This is exactly what I need. So like I said, my I have a schedule. So we're going to White Plains Trade Blossom Festival tomorrow. So today's the only day I'm going to be in Brooklyn. And believe me, I've been in Brooklyn Botanic Garden since 2012. 2015 is the only year that I never went to Brooklyn Botanic Garden. And because of Allentown and Boston that year. 2015 is only, but let me tell you something, because next year we're planning to come both days. Both days we're coming uh, next year. Next year we're coming both days, and I plan to buy membership this time. So I can buy membership anytime, and wow, just look at that. We're finally at the Cherry Espelon. What happened? And this is beautiful this year, very beautiful, but let's just hope tomorrow it's not raining so I can see these beautiful cherry blossoms in White Plains at um, Tanua Park. This is beautiful, this is very beautiful. I want to take some pictures of course. So, we're planning to meet the new band from Japan called Pinky uh, Doodle Pudo. Yes, we're planning to see them today afternoon, and then we're heading straight to the Molise. But where's the stage anyway this year? I mean, every year. Oh, I guess they put the stage on the other side this year. That's that's the case though anyway because these these cherry trees are beautiful beautiful cherry trees right and this is the main stage boy they they really relocate this stage in 2019 so this is the only day we're coming today. Today is the only day we're coming to the Brooklyn Soccer Matter. And I know it's going to be full of people already. So this, so this has to be no chance 
I've been up front for So Daiko. Yeah, So Daiko. And um, wow, one of my friends is here. But yes, Ryan, is that you? Ryan? Yeah, yeah. How you doing, Ryan? If you're watching right now, because this is this is the cherry blossoms, right? So yeah, this is the stage. So where's the J Lounge? Oh, that, that's because I had the program. That doesn't mean I didn't even look at the map because the program actually has a map. So it should have a map, right? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it has the map. So it should be the. So where's the where's the, so I'm at the Espelon right there. Or J Lounge moved to the family plant collection. Can, let's walk a bit. We cannot get these kids still. So, so this is the stage. So I gotta walk like somewhere that way or something. I don't know. Cause I, I don't know about 2000. I've come here every year except 2015. Also want to give shout outs to um of course Rico Yuzin. Rico Yuzin is my friend, you know, she's a jazz singer. Rina Kamai, she's also in Japan. She visited here last year. She saw me when I was with J Music Ensemble. Shout outs to you, Rina Kamai, because I really want to meet you next year. Oh, I shouldn't use that much mobile data because we're saving the data when we visit the White Plains Trade Blossom Festival tomorrow. We're going, but like I said, let's just hope it doesn't rain because I'm going to White Plains by bus. We're not going to Metro North. We're going by bus tomorrow. But I gotta check. I gotta make sure because I have an unlimited Metro card, and we're going by bus this year. So we're going to. I'm trying to go inside of here. Oh, I'm looking for the family collection, like the J Lounge stage. Oh, Where yeah. is it? That's basically back towards that area, the conservatory area. Right? Oh yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so this is very hard this year because because of construction at the Eastern Parkway entrance, because because this Cherry Blossom Festival in Brooklyn is completely different completely different than last year because I usually come here every year and this year it kind of messed up but at least the ticket line is not that bad the ticket line is not that bad but I, w I was worried that I wasn't be able to get inside or have a 20 minute wait or something that's just scary right there no okay so at least the stream is much better than Philadelphia right So, I also want to announce because, yes, I've kind of a bit lazy to update my Facebook cover photo because next week, May 5th, we are going to reroute to Harrison. Harrison is now hosting the Trade Blossom Festival again. Cause, but I'm not even sure yet because I hope the, the Trade Blossoms don't die out because Harrison hasn't Hosted their festival while the bloom, while, while the flowers are blooming in a while. So we are going, we are rerouting to Harrison next week. But however, because Saturday, May fourth, I'm going to work on May fourth unless, unless I'm not get called for work. But, but I wasn't sure though. But, but we we have to re we have to um we have to reroute our tour. But it's money, it's about money, so I gotta get to work next week in the Bronx. Whatsoever. But I know for a fact that someone called me from People Ready yesterday. I know she wanted me here today from 
on Staten Island. I know she wanted me to go to Staten Island. I did saw it on Job Stack. I did saw it. I didn't take it because because I'm not available for work. I also see other jobs on Job Stack, like Cirque du Soleil, um, and some other cleanup jobs. So I have no plans of working today at all. This is why I'm here because I am not available for work that comes out of peep already. I will be going to work about Monday. I'll continue to go to work Monday on Cirque du Soleil. So yeah, I'm going to end it shortly because I don't want to use up all of the mobile data. I'm not sure how much mobile data I use left, but I do have um I do have two gigabytes of mobile data. So if all the two gigabytes is used up then then there is <laughs> then I have to use up my money. This is why I was originally going to spend money like sixty dollars to use it on Boost Mobile. This is not Boost Mobile. This is Samsung. This is Samsung I'm using. This is this is the LG one. This is Boost Mobile. So I got a good phone this time. Like I said, where's the family collection anyway? Where is the J Lounge stage? Where, uh, I'm lost already. Okay. Where is the J Lounge stage? All right, let me pull up my map. Ugh. Oh, right, so where am I? I'm at. Oh wait. Oh, I think I, I think I got a clue because this is the this is the pond, right? This is the pond. So I do remember they have a pond, like the ones in the Philadelphia Cherry Blossom Festival. I do remember because I visited five times Philadelphia five times, five times. I went to Philadelphia Trade Blossom Festival five times, and speaking of that, because the Trade Blossom Festival in Philadelphia is going to be May, no, not May, April 4th and April 5th. I'm not even sure how I'm supposed to plan this, because I might want to visit those Trade Blossom Festivals before deporting myself to Japan, and I need help so bad. Right now, right now. Right now, um, my balance is $1,000, so I need help. So next week, I'll be doing electronic recycling in Pelham Bay Park. As, yeah, as long as they put me to work, I'll be all right. Oh, right, so that should be the J Lounge stage for this year in 2019. Sometimes it's okay to arrive late, just like I did, because I need some extra sleep. I have, I did have a like a dream though about uh, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was trying to walk home and then some drunk, dr that woman, drunk, drunk driver or whatever, she crashed a car and she come out drinking liquor. Is this the, no, that's, oh yes it is, it is the J Lounge stage for 2019, this is the J Lounge stage. This is where Shihori, um, Kana, uh, Kohei and Tia will perform tomorrow, but it's too bad that we're not going tomorrow. I know I have a lot of money. I have like over a thousand dollars just to come here tomorrow. But nope, we already plan to go to White Plains. And Sumire Keniko is the only, only performer that performs at White Plains tomorrow. This is the J Lounge stage, everyone. This is and what happened to the seats with the smiley face? I guess they don't have one of those this year. Usually, right? That's, 
Gotta be a drawing from the soccer rocks already. They have a piano, they have taiko drums, they have, um, uh, drums, whatever, stereo equipment. Cool. And as usual, the Brooklyn Botanic Garden Soccer Masu is famous for those types of dress up characters. Yep, I, yep, I love those too, man, but, but I'm not a cosplayer myself. I'm not a cosplayer. Okay, so this is the tour for Brooklyn this year. Oh, here are the markets. It's, this year is so complicated, you don't even know where you're going. And, and, they, and they talk about the tickets are going to sell out, and this is Royce Chocolate. Royce Chocolate, right? Yeah, yeah they, uh, they are New York based right there, right? I'm gonna start taking pictures and posting it on the Ron Chain Project Instagram. <laughs> what kind of vendors they sell here though, right? Yeah, we're not taking, we're no longer taking pictures of cosplayers this year, so we're not going to do it. <sighs> man, it's, man, the vendors are very limited this year. Man, well, good thing, good thing Wild Goldeen, who's a cosplayer and posting um, subway maps on Instagram, is at Castle Point right now. And... <clears throat> It's a bad, you know, it's, it's obviously a bad idea to um, put up a Castle Point anime convention during the Trade Blossom Fest. Why not two more weeks? Why not next week? Why not Castle Point next week? Come on, man. Why not Castle Point even next week or two more weeks? Why is it today? Why is it today? Why is Castle Point anime convention today? It doesn't make any sense. I only went to Castle Point once. And that is that's that's 2015. That's in March. Yeah, it was during it was during the time that Spring Fest is out of business though, because Spring Fest, Spring Fest replaced it. But yeah, I can't even say. I like to say that Castle Point took over um, New York Spring Fest, which is a Jersey convention. Okay. All right. Oh, that's good. That's good enough. That's good enough. That's, that's that is that concludes with the tour though of the Brooklyn Cherry Blossom Festival. People are asking questions about cosplay. You know, this is why, this is why cosplay shouldn't shouldn't exist in a Japanese festival. Cosplay don't really come from Japan. No, it doesn't. It's the characters that belong in Japan that makes it happen. I mean, no, cosplay actually exists within sci-fi. Yeah, within sci-fi, it all began when people were dressing up as um one of those Star Trek characters. Uh, what is it, Leroy? No, Spock. Yeah, I I, re I remember the name. He made it Spock from Star Trek, or Luke Skywalker, or Darth Vader from Star Wars because of be, because of the movies, right? That's how cosplay started. Cosplay started here in America based on the movies they watched, like Star Wars, Star Trek. Um, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, some of us, right? And they, they had a convention. Yeah, I watched a documentary about how cosplay started. And these are the porta potties. You know, I never talk about this, but in Philadelphia, Sacramento, all of those guys have to use the porta potties. We don't use the bathrooms. Only the ladies use the public toilets. We guys use the porta potties. Okay, okay, all right. 
we're heading back to the Cherry Aspalon. And let me tell you something because the Wi Fi didn't go out as last year when I put on mobile day. It's actually running smooth and running better than before, right? Because I'm glad the Wi Fi didn't cut off on me this time. It's running smooth and running well. So I want to end the live stream, folks. Because we're about to take some photos. I'm glad I come here at the correct time and it's sunny. But let's hope tomorrow it doesn't rain because I need to go to White Plains tomorrow. The White Plains Trade Boston Festival. I remember I should take the, the Ford train to Bedford Park and then the 20 bus. The 20 bus from Bedford Park to White Plains. Of course I could take the Metro North. <coughs> One express stop from Fordham to White Plains, straight to White Plains. It, it isn't far though, but... But... <laughs> Alright. I don't know what time it is right now, but I'm going to start taking pictures. Post it on the Ron Chan Project Instagram. But this is beautiful. I. This is the way it should be done. So, I'm going to cut the stream right now. I don't want to use up all the mobile data because I'm saving it for tomorrow when I get to White Plains. So, thank you for watching my Facebook live stream. And I will see you tomorrow at the White Plains Cherry Blossom Festival. Take care.